What's up guys, uh, this is Travis with my brain back. Welcome to your 19th tutorial. And basically what we're gonna do is set up a list view. And this is what a list view is. Uh, there can be more options and you can scroll through them. And as you can see, these are a class name. So uh, when I was doing my previous series, like a lot of people are asking how to use a list view to open classes. So I'm going towards that direction. And as you can see, I'm just gonna open up tutorial one. And there you go. Um, so basically that's what we're gonna set up it'll probably take a couple tutorials maybe even three because there's gonna be a lot of new concepts and it's kinda confusing when dealing with list views but I'll try and you know break it down for you guys uh, but first I want you guys to start a new or create a new Java class called tutorial 2 and then uh, go into your menu class and then we set up two buttons previously and they both opened tutorial one so basically just change that to tutorial two all uppercase and again that's our intent so remember whatever you label this we're gonna have to make that in the android manifest so again i just copied and pasted and changed this to our class name and changed our reference so it matched uh... what was in our menu class to tutorial two all uppercase so that's just a quick overview. You guys probably could have done that yourself, but um, that's what you're going to need to do. And then basically we're going to open up this class, Tutorial 2, and it's going to be a little different than what we usually do for an activity. This time we're going to say Extends List Activity. And what it, we're going to import List Activity there. And that's just a little bit different because it's going to realize we're working with list views and such like that. The next thing we're going to do is create it on create method. Again, the source, right click source, source, and then go to override unimplemented methods. And as you can see, here's our list list activity that we can uh, use some of those methods. But we're going to minimize that and open up the activity and hit on create. Nothing new here, but uh, what is new is we aren't going to set content view. We're going to set everything up in this in this job but we aren't going to actually use the the layout the XML layout that we usually do so um, before we get started we're gonna set up a string array and basically what an array is and we're gonna name this class names and to do array you want to use these box or like basically uh, I don't know what they're called but uh, you know those those uh, those things kinda looks like a box when you put them together so bracket I don't I don't know but yeah so that basically indicates that it's gonna be in an array and what array is is it can hold multiple things for the class name so we're gonna set this equal up to um, again you open bracket and then we're gonna say um, we're basically gonna list off our names here for our classes and so we're gonna have a main one and then we're gonna put a comma and we're gonna have a menu Actually, we aren't going to do a menu because, yeah, we will. I'll explain what the problem with that is. And then we're going to have uh, sweet. And again, it has to be case sensitive. These ones, for some reason, I was doing lowercase when we uh, when we set up those class names. But generally, you want to have an uppercase class name. So that's why I switched right here. And so just make sure what you reference this is is exactly. Um, the name over here of your class names otherwise it's going to give you an error and it's going to crash so then we also need tutorial uh, one and that's about it so we're just going to close off our bracket there and hit a, a semicolon and basically like I was telling you earlier this is a list array because we have four things in this uh, I'm sorry this is a string array we have four things in this string array and basically the position is this is position 0, position 1, position 2, position 3 so there's four positions but it starts at 0 um, so later we can reference this name and say something like cla or class names and position 0 and it's going to refer to this main class right here or this main string I should say but uh, we're going to be working with classes so that's kind of how a, a, an array works but now after we since we have that set up what we're gonna do is kinda set up this on create method because like I said it's not gonna be set content view like we're used to we're gonna say set list adapter 
And what does a list adapter take within its parameters? Well, it takes a, uh, a an array adapter. So we're gonna we don't have one yet. So we're just gonna say new array adapter. And basically, we're gonna tell it's a it's a string array adapter. So within like the Pac-Man symbols or whatever, greater than, less than, um, you want to put in string. So there we go. We have that set up, but it's given us an error because we haven't actually fully set up our array adapter yet because that has some things in its parameters as well and as you can see uh, once we put the extra parentheses there we can say import array adapter and it, now it's giving us an error because it's not matching what we need to pass in so we're going to basically pass in uh, this uh, context int and string list or uh, I'm sorry string array so that's gonna be the one that we click the very bottom and for the context we're gonna say this referring to the class and for this one this is basically how we can set up the list array so this is gonna be something that comes default with Android SDK so we're gonna say Android R dot layout dot um, simple list item one so this is basically an, an, uh, a layout for a simple list item and it comes default with the Android uh, SDK so we're just gonna use it we can define our own later if, if you guys really want just let me know but uh, we're just gonna use the default one nothing wrong with that and then we're just gonna finish off with a semicolon so there we go we basically set up everything we need within our onCreate method and now what we need to do is we need to set up something called on list item click and to do this we're just gonna say protected which we'll get into that later or in my Java series but protected void again void means like we're using a method and we're gonna say on list item click and this is gonna take some things within its parameters what is it gonna take within its parameters it's gonna take a list uh, list view and we're gonna call this L V and then we're gonna it's also gonna take a view and we're just gonna call this V it takes an int and we're gonna call this position or p, p well position just to keep it uh, recognizable there and then we're gonna also create uh, a long <clears throat> this is going to be ID so there we go we set up kind of its parameters and uh, we just need to import these here so import list view and import view and I know we're going kind of quick and I'll explain everything in either a separate tutorial all by itself or um, you know if I have time in the next tutorial I'll explain that as well so basically what we want to do now is say super Again, referring to the super class, and then say on list item clicked, and it's going to take in its parameters L for well LV V for our view. We just wanted to match it whatever we named uh, named within these parameters. So LV V position and ID, and then we're just going to hit semicolon now what we want to do is set up a single string and so we're going to say string and we're going to call this one open class and this is going to be set equal to our class name array so, so uh, it's going to be set up to basically um, like I told you guys earlier if we set this to zero this open class would be set equal to main and then if it was a one it'd be equal to menu two suite and three tutorial one so it's basically going to get the position of our class names and it wasn't coming up because it's names and basically we don't want to have a specific number we want to put position in there because it's going to pass in the position when an item has been clicked and it's going to tell us what that position is but basically we're setting this string called open class equal to whatever is clicked and there's uh, another tutorial for this it's getting too lengthy but uh, check that one out where we're going to finish this activity um, or this uh, list activity. So I'll check you guys then and hope you have a great rest of your day. Peace.